hello students today uh, we will study about uh, the uh, digital multimeter we always use a digital multimeter for different uh, for measurement of different electrical quantities uh, such as uh, resistance measurement or dc voltage measurement or dc current measurement also uh, ac voltage or ac current or uh, testing of different electronic components so we use uh, these portable uh, digital multimeters which are uh, available in our electronics laboratory okay so we have to uh, study about this uh, digital multimeter this is the block diagram of digital multimeter okay uh, in a digital multimeter uh, there are uh, different blocks or uh, uh, this is a DC voltage attenuator. This is AC voltage attenuator and rectifier circuit. Then uh, current to voltage converter. Current to voltage converter and uh, resistance to voltage converter. And the these outputs are then connected to analog to digital converter. And this uh, digital signal is then uh, fed to the counter circuit, uh, electronic counter circuit which consists of a decade counter and uh, then BCD to seven segment decoder and display, display in it. Okay. So this is the uh, counter circuit in counter circuit clock signal. That is the output, uh, output from analog to digital converter. It is uh, fed as a clock signal uh, to the decade counter. Then decade counter uh, counts the number of uh, pulses arrived to its uh, clock input and then it is decoded by BCD to 7 segment decoder and we use a digital display in decimal form okay in decimal form so uh, first of all we will see what are the advantages what are the advantages of digital multimeter over analog multimeter in analog over multimeter uh, analog multimeter was not uh, so accurate and uh, there were some errors in uh, analog multimeters so in place of analog multimeter we use digital multimeters it is more accurate and it is uh, we uh, we read direct reading on the display unit okay then it is its accuracy is maximum and it avoids uh, loading effect it avoids loading effect it is smaller in size and it is very easy to operate then it can be used for ac voltage measurement dc voltage or ac current dc current and resistance okay and also for testing our different electronic components okay then its cost is also very low and uh, it uh, it's it measure very fastly okay its accuracy is very good then it has automatic polarity indication and automatic zero setting okay so these are the advantages of digital multimeter it is more its accuracy is very good or it is its accuracy is it is more accurate that is accuracy of reading is very good okay then uh, this uh, di uh, digital multimeter which consists of ac dc attenuator then current to voltage converter current to dc voltage converter then resistance to voltage converter analog to digital converter and electronic counter okay <clears throat> so digital multimeter consists of DC voltage attenuator, AC voltage attenuator, current to voltage converter, resistance to voltage converter, then uh, several analog to digital converter circuits and the electronic counter. Okay. So first of all, we will study the function of DC attenuator, DC attenuator. So when a DC voltage is applied, when a DC voltage is applied uh, to the DC attenuator, then uh, 
uh, it is uh, selected by this uh, DC uh, uh, voltage alternator. This DC voltage it is selected. This uh, DC uh, voltage alternator selects the DC applied input voltage, and it, this uh, DC alternator it is nothing but a potential divider. It is nothing but a potential divider. That is several uh, resistances are connected in series and a potential divider is made okay so here there are number of resistors which are connected in series and a voltage divider is made and by using this voltage divider uh, by using this voltage divider the dc input voltage is selected okay and it is very similar to the multi range voltmeter which you have studied in last year okay then we will study uh, the analog to digital converter the function of analog to uh, digital converter so this analog to digital converter it uh, uh, dc voltage into uh, digital signal analog to digital converter converts the analog signal which is applied to its input it converts into corresponding digital signal okay that is uh, after converting each quantity into dc voltage analog to digital converter converts dc voltage into digital signal or binary signal in order to drive the counter Thus, uh, this uh, analog signal is applied to analog to digital converter, and then this this analog to digital converter converts the analog signal into uh, digital signal, and it is then fed to the electronic counter. Okay. There are different uh, circuits of analog to digital converters, but practically, dual slope type. ADC that is dual slope type analog to digital converter is widely used in digital multimeters okay now we will study the function of electronic counter and display unit in digital instruments these circuits are very common okay then uh, after converting the input quantity into digital signal or clock signal after converting in digital multimeter after converting the input quantity that is the analog signal into digital signal uh, it is also called as clock signal with the help of analog to digital converter the analog signal is converted into digital signal with the help of this analog to digital converter then it is applied to the uh, to uh, the counter unit and the gate circuit decides the time duration the gate circuit decides the time duration it is applied to this unit for a specific time of interval this uh, digital signal analog signal is converted into digital signal and then it is uh, given to the counter circuit with a way with a specific time with a specific time interval hmm? then the gate circuit decides the this time duration okay the electronic counter has seven segment display unit seven segment uh, display unit and here each display displays from 0 to 9 digits 0 1 2 3 4 etc and uh, it has several display devices with separate decoders okay separate decoders then its uh, input uh, uh, drives first decade counter it's the, the that is the output from the analog to digital converter 
it is fed to the counter circuit as a clock signal as a clock signal that is this clock signal drives first decade counter okay and the first decade counter to display the last digits or units after ninth pulse that is this first decade counter uh, counts up to 9 that is it, uh, it counts from 0 to 9 that is it uh, counts uh, 9 pulses okay and after 9th pulse it produces a carry pulse to the next decade counter okay to display tens and further uh, hundreds okay its uh, working is very similar to the uh, odometer and to understand the working of digital multimeter let us take a simple and uh, easy trial input voltage of 5 volt okay here 5 volt is applied to the attenuator 5 volt is applied to the attenuator when it is connected uh, to the adc that is by using attenuator when 5 volt is applied to the analog to digital converter that is analog signal is 5 volt okay then this analog uh, this adc will convert this analog uh, signal that is 5 volt into corresponding digital signal okay then when it is connected to adc through attenuator then adc generates a time duration pulse okay this adc will generate a time duration pulse this pulse is then applied to AND gate uh, as input B. This time duration pulse is applied to input B of AND gate. Okay. Then the number of pulses come connected to the electronic counter depends upon the number of pulses uh, connected to the electronic counter. It depends upon the time interval of this pulse. Suppose uh, 5 pulses are connected to electronic counter. If suppose 5 pulses are connected to this uh, electronic counter, then the gate is made open by ADC. This gate is made open by this ADC and the electronic counter displays a number 5. This electronic counter will display a number 5 indicating that the input voltage to the input voltage to the DMM is 5 volt okay so in this way uh, voltage is measured this ADC will produce a time duration pulse and if the number of uh, pulse if 5 volt is applied if the number of uh, clock pulses are if the number of pulses are 5 then uh, after 5 pulses the gate will open and this counter will indicate a number 5 okay then ac to dc converter ac to dc voltage converter it is nothing but a rectifier circuit it will convert ac voltage into if ac voltage is applied to the uh, for measurement if ac voltage is applied to digital multimeter for measurement then there is a rectifier circuit in multimeter this rectifier circuit will convert AC voltage into DC voltage. Okay. Then when DMM selects, uh, then current to voltage converter, what is the function of current to voltage converter? Uh, when DMM selects the current measurement, when DMM, that is if current is to be measured, if current is to be measured by using digital multimeter then uh, then, then this uh, cu the current is uh, this uh, DC current it is uh, passed to the that is uh, where it passes unknown current through unknown shunt resistance unknown shunt resistance and a proportional voltage is produced so that ADC this current will be converted into voltage current is converted into voltage 
by using a shunt resistor that that means the current will be current is a dc that a dc current is passed through unknown resistance and therefore voltage is uh, produced across this uh, unknown uh, across this uh, shunt resistance and a proportional voltage is produced across um, the that resistance and um, this uh, it is so that adc and counter circuit will measure um, this voltage okay then resistance to voltage measurement okay resistance to voltage measurement the unknown unknown resistance is connected in op amp circuit in op amp circuit through which a uh, constant current is passed constant current is passed through that unknown resistance and it produces a voltage drop across the unknown resistance and further it is measured by uh, usual digital method okay then it is measured by usual digital method okay so we will stop here